my previous video regarding the ringing phones in Inkbot Art Academy, I was overwhelmingly informed that the phones and squid beacons share the same distorted sounds. At first I was a bit skeptical, as they didn't sound exactly the same when I tried comparing the two. However, to make my research a little easier, I was able to download the raw audio files used for the beacons. There are a total of five samples, each with various chunks of silence mixed in to help sell that distorted radio effect. After a bit of meticulous editing, I was able to remove the gaps and have the audio play uninterrupted, and it was then that the similarities between the beacon sounds and the phones became very apparent. And I was actually able to roughly recreate the phone sounds using parts 4 and 3 of the squid beacon samples. Here they are, back to back. I wasn't able to get it 100% right, but those are unmistakably the same sounds. Which, for me, makes this a little less interesting. Had the developers actually put in the time to make a unique sound specific for those telephones, then I'd be much more inclined to look deeper into a possible message. But ultimately, they simply reused assets they already had at their disposal. So I don't feel quite right looking too far into this. However, before we move on from this subject, I had a lot of people tell me that I should reverse the sound, which I could tell you now, that doesn't really reveal anything, but uh, here it is anyway. But who knows, maybe you guys can hear something in that that I can't. I've also had many of you tell me that the laughing statues had returned from Splatoon 1, left broken and discarded in the corners of Inkblot Art Academy. But there are a few key details that suggest against them being the same sculptures. For one, they aren't broken, they're simply busts that have been knocked over. And that alone is more than enough for me to conclude that these are not the infamous giggling sculptures, however much I want them to be. Still, I was hoping there'd be some life left in them regarding the current rumor that surrounds the sculptures in Inkbot. According to Pearl herself, the eyes of the statues will glow at night. She doesn't specify which ones exactly, so I spent a good amount of time waiting around next to all of the statues present in the stage. Unfortunately, their eyes never glowed once, even when I kept my distance. That said, there's still a good possibility that I overlooked something. Sometimes, to trigger a hidden easter egg like this in a game, you need to do more than just observe. Still, through my lackluster observational skills, I did discover something quite peculiar. Some of you may be familiar with the mysterious painting of a red inkling, narrowly visible through the second story window of a tall building. It exhibits a certain foreboding quality, and that's all well and good, but look at this. At first glance, it looks like your typical inkling girl, right? But there's something missing. The mask. The black mask is a key defining feature of the inklings, so I found it odd that she doesn't have it. And this isn't the first time a maskless inkling appears. Back in Splatoon 1, there is a developer-drawn Miiverse post of an inkling girl with, again, no mask. Is this an oversight of the artist? Or is this the true conspiracy? These creatures were never squids to begin with! <laughs> in any case, that's all I've been able to uncover since the last video. I spent an ungodly amount of time investigating every single stage in Splatoon 1 during nighttime, hoping to find something, but I ultimately came up empty-handed. However, again, all I did was look around. There could very well be a way to trigger something in any one of those stages, but I simply do not have the time to investigate at that level. So, as of right now, it seems like the well of creepy Splatoon stuff has run a bit dry, and I certainly don't want to start making videos that have no substance to them. I already feel like this one was cutting it a bit close. We'll have to wait until the Octo expansion comes out and see if that delivers anything juicy. Oh, and speaking of which, I'll be livestreaming the expansion when it comes out. So if you're still hankering for some Splatoon content from me, perhaps that will satisfy you. More info is in the description, as always. And until next time, all of you need to stay beautiful. Bye bye <laughs>